Let's take a look at this example. So we started from this model and we created this one. And everything is fine. The question is, why are all these things on our left side? If we take a look, this is actually how it is, has been created. If I select on the screen, this is our small cylinder. What about if I give this to the customer and he says that this diameter is actually not good enough for manufacturing. So I can come and edit and see that my radius is 8.1005, which cannot be manufactured. So in this case, I can just come in here and I can change this to be exactly 8 millimeters. I can apply and I see that it, the size of the cylinder became smaller. And then if I press OK, everything is rebuilt. So in fact, parametric means that we can change the parameters. And the history is because everything is connected one after another. If I modify one of the, of the features, all the, the rest will be rebuilt and we'll get the completely new model. Again, I can edit this cylinder and probably I can make a nine millimeters and when I press OK, everything is rebuilt and we get completely new model. So this is what we call parametric modeling to change the parameters of different features. And history-based modeling is that everything is reconstructed as our uh, intent. Another example, which is again really powerful, is the combination between the freeform modeling and the parametric uh, uh, features which are prismatic. For example, here this model is created with some cylinders, planes, but here this is a completely new um, surface which has been designed by hand. So what about if I just come and want to modify this shape? For example, here we have request this grip to be a little bit bigger. I can just modify it. And then when I press close, everything will be reconstructed and we get a completely different model. So I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.